Hello and welcome back to this Clueless Guy Plays Age of Empires 2. Now, as you can see, I've changed the location of our game settings here. So we're, we are now going to be playing on a Black Forest map. One of you in the comments actually gave me this recommendation. And i got to say thank you very much. Because I've played on it before. And I remember it being extremely good for learning the game a little bit. Because everything is just a little bit more uniform, I suppose you could say. And we are going to be playing against a moderate AI once again. I was thinking of playing on 2 versus 2, but then it, uh, well, kind of dawned on me that you can't actually choose the individual difficulties of the AI. And I was wanting to have like a lower difficulty AI and a higher difficulty AI on the enemy team, but that is not possible. So we're just going to do a 1 versus 1. I'm going to be playing as the Chinese because they have these unique crossbow units that come out of their castles once you reach the castle age and i'm gonna say that i think they're probably my favorite units that i have so far played with i know that i think the mm, i think the turks might also play with a unit that i really like i think they play with like a, a gunpowder unit of some kind but for this particular video we're going to play with the chinese no idea who the ai is going to pick but we'll see. All right, so they're playing with the Huns, which is going to be a bit of an issue, isn't it? Yes, it's definitely going to be a bit of an issue. So let's get all our people over here, get all our villagers over here and everything. And we need to get this guy running around everywhere we need him to go. There we go. And now we'll get these to do this. There we are. And can we get these? Yes, we can. There we go. Very nice indeed. Let's get them over there. And bear in mind that the Chinese start off with five villagers immediately. And as a result, you kind of need to build a house almost instantly, which is absolutely fine because that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm also researching loom because that is going to be very important for us. There's a boar right over there. So I'm definitely going to be requiring that. The gold is really close by to us. The wood is really close by. Very, very nice. Little positionings here. I've got to be very pleased about that, to be honest. And uh, let's see where our scout ends up going. Hopefully he's going to go somewhere nice. <laughs> uh, Hawaii, maybe? Or uh, maybe uh, Malta? Or Barbados? I don't know. He's going to go somewhere nice. Whatever the case. But anyway, let's continue to build villages. And I have 125 wood. I have how many? Seven villagers on food now. I think I'm going to get another... Probably another one. And then we will start building a lumber mill. But first, we definitely need to get this boar over here. And uh, try and take it out as soon as possible. That's going to be a very important food source for us. And we'll see how we do. So this girl is going to go over to the boar, try and bait it over here. We're going to continue to build villages. And there we go. Chase that. Ah, oh, run, run away. Okay, there we go. Not too bad. And we're doing fine. There we go. All right, fantastic. That's great. So now this guy can come over here and we can get a nice little lumber mill going. And we're going to continue to build villages to uh, hopefully get a uh, nice steady stream of lumber coming up here. Because bear in mind, I only have 25 wood now, which I don't think is enough for another house. Which is a bit problematic, because I actually need one pretty soon. As you can see, I'm only three population cap away. And uh, yeah, that's going to be kind of harsh. But I suppose we'll see what happens. Uh, we've got some more cows here as well, which I definitely need to bring over here. And hopefully we'll be able to get enough. Uh, oh, I do have enough for a house. Oh, 25 is enough for a house. Oh, that's actually fantastic. I had no idea. Okay, great. That is <laughs> kind of good. I was a bit worried about that for a second. Okay, so we're just going to continue building houses relatively far away from our town center here because we are going to need to... Uh, well, we're going to need to build farms, and building farms around the town center is a really good way to initially get 
some uh, good food injection as well as of course using your berries and things like that. So we're just going to continue doing that and hopefully that's going to be a good amount of cash, like a good amount of cash, good amount of food and I'm going to need to build something relatively soon. I'm going to, I'm probably just going to build, I'm not going to build another house right now, but I will build a, oh, barracks is 175. That's a bit much, isn't it? Okay, so we'll just build another house for the moment and we'll just continue building uh, villages. I need two dark age buildings. So I need a lumber camp, mining camp. Oh, okay, so I should probably get a mining camp. That's probably going to be something that is quite necessary. So we're just going to take this guy over here after he's done with that house and then he's going to build the mining camp right next to the gold there. That's going to be very important for us, especially considering once that's done, we can actually start advancing to the feudal age and that's going to be very important for us. We need to rush, at least in my opinion, we need to rush to the castle age as soon as possible. And as you can see, we've already found our opponent. They are around about here. That's kind of interesting. Okay, well, let's just continue to look around. That's fine. Let's continue building villages. That guy is going to start mining some gold, which is very good for us. And I'm actually going to take this girl over here so we can actually get a mill. And yeah, now this is indeed the issue. I should have built a mill much quicker. But I didn't because I'm a bit of an idiot. So yeah, don't do like me. Yeah, don't do like me. But it's okay. We're actually doing fine because all these guys are going to be helping us to get the mill up and running and then they'll all go over to the berries. So it's not a big downtime for us, which is pretty good. So we're just going to continue building villages here and putting them on the wood. We've got eight on wood right now. I think that might actually be enough. So maybe we want to Put some more people on gold now because gold is going to be very very important for our crossbow units so that's definitely going to be something that we will need to do and we'll do go for automatic reseeding as well and we need 500 we're almost there we're almost there so i'm not going to build any more villages now actually should i yeah gonna gonna build some more villages why not i think more villages are definitely going to be quite important for us and I'm not entirely sure if the enemy is actually ready to attack us just yet. But as you can see, they they haven't... I don't think they've advanced. No, they haven't advanced to the next stage yet either. So that's actually fine. Hopefully he's not going to get killed by the town center. Nope, doesn't seem like he is. I don't think it has... Does it have any uh, automatic attacking at this, at this stage? I don't think it does actually. So I shouldn't have to worry too much about it. And I need to build an another house. So let's do that over here. And we will now advance to the feudal age once we have 500. Yes, there we go. Nice. Okay, we got it. Okay, so we might actually be within a pretty good... Um, we might be within pretty good standing here for uh, maybe like a, a nice little victory here. Who knows? Who knows? So what we're going to do now is I'm actually just going to build a barracks round about here. I don't really care where it is at the moment. I just want it to be kind of far away from my town center, as I say. Uh, yeah, we're going to need to build some farms already, in my opinion. It's going to be quite important for us to do that. And uh, yeah, he's already advanced to the feudal age, as you can see right there. So he is a little bit ahead of us in that regard but personally i don't think i mind to be honest uh we need to get some yeah we need to have a look around for some stone uh, there's another boar there but it's a bit a bit late for that definitely a bit late for that so we're almost at the feudal age that's actually fine and uh, we need to build some more farms because these berries are going to be running out relatively soon and we kind of want to start transitioning over to farms. And there we go, we have advanced. So let's get wheelbarrow immediately. We also need to get horse collar. And uh, where, where, where is the stone? Where is the stone? We definitely need stone. It's going to be quite important for us. There's the stone. Okay, there's the stone. So I'm going to build a stone mine right about there. And then we need to build a couple more of these. 
because the uh, the berry bushes are running out relatively quickly. So let's take this guy. Let's build. Uh, yeah, we need a little bit more to build an archery archery range, and that archery range is going to be our main source of units initially, up until the time that we actually start building castle units, and those castle units will be extremely powerful, or at least I have found that they're really, really good, but maybe it's just me, maybe maybe I'm not really knowing that much, because I am pretty, you know, I'm pretty rusty, pretty new kind of thing, so we'll see how it goes. But I think it's all right. We've got how many? Four on gold. Four on gold is not exactly great, but I think it should be okay. So let's just build this. Start getting some archers. Don't have enough wood for that. That's actually fine. Don't really mind too much about that. As we have eight, we have eight on wood. Let's let's get some more wood. Why not? Let's get some more wood. Let's research some better wood for us. And I'm gonna need to build a house. So let's build a house round about here. And hopefully these archers will come out and protect us. Uh, yeah, that's going to be quite important. Okay, so my, uh, my my scout is not really doing anything right now. So I'm just going to send him all over the place if he can. And I don't have any idle villagers. Isn't that amazing? I don't have any idle villagers. Uh, you would have thought that I would have some of them because I am, well, not exactly great. But uh, hopefully we're going to... We're going to show everyone how fantastic we actually are now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we'll try. All right, so we just need to continue doing that. And let's build another farm here. I actually want to get a blacksmith. So let's, let's do that. Round about here. Don't really care where it is, to be honest. And we'll just continue building villages. Villages are super important. And we also need to continue building archers as well. Okay, that's almost run out. So let's build another farm there. And this guy is going to build another farm in a second. Actually, you know what? I'm going to send him to... Uh, I want to build another lumber mill around about here. It's going to be pretty important for us. Okay, so we've got this up and running. So what we want to do is we want to get archer, archer damage and all that wonderful stuff. Let's build a house. And then we'll get another archer. We just want to try and slowly build up our, our uh, archer forces for the moment. And then we'll see how we go. Seems like it's, uh, it's not possible to uncover most of the map sometimes because you, I think, probably need to well, mine out a little bit of the forest, you know, you know what I mean by mine out, you know, just kind of chop down some trees and stuff to get in there, but unfortunately I won't be able to do that at the moment, so anyway, I need 800 food now, so I think it's probably going to be a good idea for me to take one of these guys, put him on farming instead, and we're just going to continue getting, mm, we're going to put some more people on gold now, so we're just going to continue getting villagers. And we'll see how that goes. I think we should be fine. As long as we continue building archers. And let's just continue getting those guys. I, I don't really want to... I don't really want to research anything else apart from archers for the moment. But I want to go for like an archer-siege combination. Because as I've said, they're pretty good. They're the unique units... From the castle that the Chinese have are very very good at what they do and hopefully I'll be able to advance to the castle age relatively soon I think I will be able to so that's gonna be great I'm just gonna continue building houses here and let's build another one after that there we go more villagers more villagers that's what we need and I think I should be relatively close to Castle Age now. Yes, there we go. There's Castle Age. That's great. Now we can focus on just churning out more archers with the food that we have. Actually, they don't even need food. Oh, wow. They only need gold and, and wood. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Very nice to know. Oh, and there's another stone patch. That's great. That is actually really nice. So I'm actually going to take this guy over here and build a little mine for the next stone patch 
because we're going to need that. Once we hit Castle Age, I'm going to build a castle almost immediately. I'm not entirely sure where to build it, probably around here. And he's already advanced to the Castle Age. He seems to already, or always be like uh, about 50% ahead of us. In this case, 60% by the looks of things, which is actually not very good at all. But, uh, well, I can't really do much about that at the moment, so we'll just have to, just have to roll with it. And is there anything else that I really wanted? Oh, yeah. I should probably have done that, shouldn't I? Yeah, okay. So I'm actually just going to build a bit of a wall around about here. I can't actually do that because there's trees in the way. You know what? I'm just going to do it because he's got to mine that out if he wants to get by, right? I'm actually unsure about that. Well, let's just build another little bit there. And another little bit there to try and prevent anything from going wrong. And we're almost at Castle Age, which is really good. <coughs> and we're going to get a little bit more mining. Mining faster about various things. There we go. Okay, that's actually fantastic. Now let's take our guy over here. He's going to build this castle. Around about here, I think, is pretty good. And how's my scout doing? Well, he's not really doing anything right now. Let's just go around here and have a look at what our opponent is up to. I mean, even though I'm probably not going to be able to know really what he's doing at this point. But we're just going to upgrade our crossbowmen in all kinds of ways. And they're going to be deadly. They're going to be really, really deadly for us right now. So let's continue to get research. I'm going to get another lumber mill a little bit closer to our lumber line right there. And let's continue to get people on... We should probably get them on the gold over there. So I'm actually going to build another, another gold mine in that area. And we also want to build something else. Once this guy is done... Yeah, we're going to build a gate. We need to build a gate as well. So, wait a minute. Where's the gate? Palisade gate. There we go. Something like this, I guess, will be good. And this will be fine. There we go. Okay, that's fantastic. All my crossbowmen have leveled up into actual crossbowmen now, which is really nice. And we can also get some additional upgrades for our archers, which is really nice too. So we're just going to transfer these workers over to the other stone camp. And I think I think we're doing I think we're doing pretty nicely at the moment. I mean, maybe it's just me, but I think we might actually have the opportunity to maybe achieve a victory here. I mean, it really depends. I think it might be okay. We'll see. This castle is almost done. And... Oh, wow, yeah, make your walls stronger. That might actually be pretty fun. But uh, we're just going to advance and just get these guys. These guys require wood and gold. So I'm pretty happy to just spam them. As you can see, I'm going to get 13 out of this, which is just insane. And what we also want to do... Oh, yeah, this guy needs to build a mine here. This is really bad. There we go. Not too bad. And what we also want to do is... Wow, we need we need more uh, we need more wood, don't we? So I guess I should put more people on lumber. And I need to I need to build a university relatively fast. I only have 100 wood at the moment, so that's not going to really help us out too much. But I definitely need to build a university. There's a reason for that. They have a wide variety of really, really good technology to research for archers in particular and that's going to be very important for our archer focused army these guys are almost done with the stone over there so i'm just going to queue them up to go over oh actually there's a uh, there's another patch there so i'm just going to take over two i guess there we go all right so we're just going to continue building crossbowmen and we need more people on wood don't we yeah we need more people on wood so i think i'm going to continue doing that and how's my scout doing, by the way? My scout seems to be doing absolutely fine. He's still alive. Kind of surprised that... Uh, wow, these guys are really not knowing... Are they Are they knowing what to do? Oh, they have a lot of crossbowmen as well. They might actually be making... Oh, oh, they have some siege. 
I don't have any siege. Oh dear. I have no siege. Okay, yeah, that's probably going to be a bit of an issue. So I'm actually going to build a little siege factory round about there. And now we can actually start getting some things. So as you can see right here, ballistics is what I want to get. Archers, town centers, etc. Fire more accurately at moving targets. They're going to be very good for us. And we also need something else, but we need to advance to the next age to be able to get that. And I need a thousand food for it. So, probably a good idea. We have loads of people on wood now, so probably a good idea to actually start building more of these and more of these as well. And what we're going to do is we're probably going to... Ah, hello there. Okay, there's the enemy. I didn't realize that they were they could actually come from that way, so that's my bad. But I suppose it's not really a big deal, because I think we actually have the advantage. I think we probably have the advantage. I, I'm, Don't quote me on that, but I think we could probably win this. Yeah, yeah, I think pretty easily, actually. Oh, we need to kill the siege. Or do we? Siege is not really targeting us right now, which is pretty good. So, oh, they are targeting us now. But that's fine, because if we can just eliminate these guys, we'll be really, really happy with that. Wow, the siege is dying super quickly. Nice. They actually brought a villager to repair the siege? Are you serious right there? That's crazy. Okay. Well, let's continue to get some people, put them on the... <laughs> put them on the gold here. And we're now going to counterattack. I didn't know that he could come through here, which is really bad. I should, I thought my scout would have found uh, an alternate way to come through there, but apparently not. My scout was really, really bad there. Did not do a good job on that. I didn't, that is. Not my, not my scout in particular, because my scout actually did do quite well, but I just failed with him, basically. Right, so that means that I'm going to have to place both things over here. And this guy can go back on there as well. There we go. All right, so not too bad. Do I have a thousand food yet? No, almost, almost. Okay. Okay, that guy's going to die, isn't he? Yeah, that guy's going to pretty easily die from anything else. Okay, so I'm going to need... Definitely going to need to place my guys around here. And what we need is a wall. We need a wall, don't we? So let's actually... I have loads of stone. So I'm just going to literally build... Probably something like this. I'm not doing this accurately whatsoever, by the way. So I'm just basically doing this to prevent enemies from getting in too easily. And we're going to build a stone gate. There's the gate. There we go. All right, so now let's go. Let's go and counterattack. Uh, I should have counterattacked a long time ago, but I was kind of waiting, really, which is, I don't know why. I don't know why I was waiting. Let's build a house. We need more houses. And I have a lot of idle workers, which is really, really bad. So, I guess I'll just build... Wow, that, yeah, th this is really bad. I need to put them on the uh, on the stone. I forgot to do that. And we need to build anti-unit anti siege weapon. No, I'm going to just go for a mangonel right here. Just going to go for a couple of these. And we're just going to take them over here. Okay, so we're being attacked right now, but I think we should be okay. We're actually doing quite a lot of damage right here, which is pretty good. Let's advance to the next age. Oh, we need 800 gold. Of course, I don't have any gold right now. And all my units are actually dying right here because they have... What do they have? Cavaliers. Yeah, that's going to be a bit of an issue, isn't it? Okay, well, let's take this guy and actually start building this. It's going to take a bit a bit longer than I would like to get the, uh, to get the wall up and running. But I think my opponent is kind of depleted as well. Let's get Imperial Age. He has already advanced to the Imperial Age, which is actually really bad. So, yeah. We might have some issues. We might have some issues. But I think... I don't know. I think we, we might do okay. Not entirely sure. We'll see. Okay, 
Okay, so we have a mangonel right here, which is obviously going to be quite important for us. And I am not entirely sure. I think we need to find more gold, don't we? We need to find more gold and expand out to it. But I'm not really seeing any, to be honest. Yeah, that is indeed a big problem. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to build another castle. So it seems like we only have enough gold over there. And do we have any gold here? I mean, this guy's got a whole bunch of gold. He has expanded quite nicely, which I should have been doing, to be honest. I was, well. Oh, there, there is actually another gold patch there. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay. My bad. My bad. That's actually not even a big deal now then. Okay, so we've advanced. That means that I can finally upgrade to Arbalesters. And I can also get a bunch of other upgrades so let's do this and i need 160 gold i don't have enough gold yeah the gold is the main issue here let's build some more villages why not build some more villages and we should probably build another mine yeah that's a pretty bad positioning isn't it yeah pretty bad positioning don't worry about it it's fine <laughs> not really and that is the edge of the map, of course. Oh, we can build docks here if we want to, which might actually make sense. Can we not? Are you serious? Apparently not. Oh, there we go. We can we can build it about there. Oh, okay, interesting. Not really built one of those before, or not within the last many many months years. Anyway, there you go. Increases the attack of towers minimum range of towers no that's fine well, well technically we can get all of this to be honest this might actually make sense yeah why not let's just get all that all those uh, all those lovely bits of research ah this guy can actually sneak in through here i see well that is not good but thankfully, uh, I think they're probably going to have a pretty bad time of things. I'm also going to be uh, researching all kinds of wonderful stuff for our main archer forces. Okay, so this guy's going to literally just die really, really quickly. I don't, I don't think we need to worry about micromanaging anyone there. He'll probably kill a villager or something, but that's not, in my opinion, not too much of a big deal. Going to place a bunch of villagers around here as well now. Why are you going out there, by the way? Why are they going out there? You don't want to go out there. Oh, wow, he killed that. Okay, that's actually really good. And we're going to just take a bunch of villagers to finish up our castle.
All right, look, so here we go. It seems like we have the upgrade for our Chuko News, and they are going to be beastly after this upgrade. Unfortunately, the enemy is actually doing pretty well so far to try and keep us contained as much as they have, which is kind of difficult for me. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, do a little bit of something here. Um, we have a couple of Onagas here. Nothing too dramatic, we've just got a couple, and there we go, they, they have finally upgraded. So now we, what we can do is we can actually get conscription, which makes it so that those units are built that much quicker, but saying that, uh, yeah, you see all my villagers right here? They're not doing anything, and I'm not entirely sure what to use them for, to be honest. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're just going to place a whole bunch of farms around here, and then we're just going to, uh, oh yeah, now this is pretty bad. Yeah, now the, the main problem you see with the enemy right now is that they are actually using units that are very, very hard for us to take care of. So in other words, skirmishers. Skirmishers are pretty hard for us to deal with. So that is the main thing here. Because they generally tend to move between between attacking, which is actually kind of actually kind of harsh. So we're actually going to start getting upgrades for other things now because we are going to need uh, we are going to need to transition, I think, to something else. We will need to transition to a different unit type because even though archers, in my opinion, are really really good, they uh, might not be good enough to deal with the enemy's unit composition but as you can see we're bombarding the enemy really really heavily right here and they're not really able to really do anything to us which is great but unfortunately I am going to be running out of 
well, everything apart from wood and food very, very soon, which is actually going to be kind of bad. So as you can see though, look at how much damage we're capable of doing right here. It's just really quite insane with the amount of units that we have. So let's just get all of these out here. And we're just going to continue to build them. As you can see, look at that. They just took out that Cavalier super, super easily. And hopefully that's going to be enough. Because we are not going to have much gold remaining very soon. We're going to take these guys down here. And... I mean, we have a lot of a lot of score right now, but that is literally just because the AI has decided to run his units straight into me right here. Especially considering we are in a rather fortified positioning, and that is not great. You know, it's not a good idea. Not a good idea to do that at all. But we're gonna just continue building units, and I'm hopeful that I will be able to maybe find another source of gold somewhere but i have no idea where that's going to be really don't so it is going to be a bit problematic all right so we have a pretty massive army i think we probably want to take it and do something with it oh dear if we can just run away from these guys they'll die as you can see right there look at that that's just insanity. Wow. Yeah, this is exactly the kind of plan that I had, you see. I wanted to try and mass the crossbowmen as much as possible. They're just so incredibly fun to use. And we're going to continue to do that. So we're just going to continue. Oh, we need more houses. Of course we do. Yeah, we need more houses. Okay. So let's do this. And we'll see how that goes. I should really get the uh, the uh, horse cart thing as well. Uh, we should probably upgrade this too. But I have a bad feeling that we're going to run out of gold relatively soon. And that's going to be problematic. Okay, so let's just kill this guy. What's he doing? Oh, the damage. The damage. Okay, I'm, I'm, I think we, we might have a victory on our hands here. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, those skirmishes are being really, really annoying, actually. But thankfully, my archers are super capable of dealing with them. No problem at all there. And we probably want to make sure that we're not running into the town center too heavily. Okay, we're going to go over here and try and take out some of their villagers. Obviously, this is the easiest thing that we can do right now. And we should probably just try and eliminate some of their production too. We do have a couple of siege engines, so it would make sense for us to do that. take out their workers a little bit more as well. Okay, I'm just going to leave my guys just to do whatever they want to do right now. And we're going to go back and see if we can build. Ah, uh, yeah, so my gold has run out. My gold has run out. So th this is literally the end of the amounts of units that I currently have to, to build. I literally don't have any more resources to be able to do that. So we are just going to have to prevail with this. That's it. That's literally it. I'm not sure how the opponent is doing, to be honest. I think fine. Not entirely sure. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to start to transition now. So what we are going to do here is we're going to build uh, probably barracks, cavalry. I I don't really care, to be honest. I guess I'll just go for... Actually, I already have a barracks. 
Ah, uh, that's interesting. Okay, yeah. So I already have a barracks, so we're just going to upgrade all these things super quickly. And then I will just get... I'll just get militia. Why not? We'll just get a huge amount of militia. And look at, look at how many units I have here, by the way. Look at all these guys. They're just ready to come and assist our other forces right here. And these guys are absolutely murdering everything in sight. Got to be really careful here, though. Because we really don't want to get them killed too easily. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to eliminate these guys without taking too many casualties. But of course, the enemy is also having some difficulties with resources and all kinds of things. Hopefully he's going to surrender soon. I'm actually, I actually would have expected him to surrender much, much earlier. But maybe once he sees my new army, he will decide to do that. This guy actually has some gold. I can't believe he actually has some gold in his, uh, in his base still, which is kind of crazy. So hopefully that's going to be it for us. And then, well, if, if it isn't, uh, then I'll just uh, transition to barracks units only, which will require hopefully not any gold. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, if, if, if they only require, you know, uh, they do require gold. Uh, that is not good. Oh, oh, these guys don't. Okay, yeah, so I think I'll just transition to this instead. There we go. And we do have a little bit of gold. And I am going to need to build more houses. There we go. I think I think we're good though. I think I think we are good. I'm not entirely sure why he isn't surrendering, but I guess it's literally just because he has he thinks he has a lot of Well, everything. But if we can kill his workers, then I think that will make our case a lot stronger. Oh, as you can see he's bringing out his villagers from the garrison there or from the uh, the town center. Let's just try and focus that down as best we can. And we have... Mm, yeah, we basically have nothing more now. So I'm going to, as I say, just transition into using pikemen as much as possible. And these guys will just build some farms. Ah! There we go. Phew. That was actually a moderate AI. Can you believe it? Wow. That's pretty crazy. So let's leave the map. That was really quite close, actually. But uh, there you go. With moderation. I, I'm not sure. Not, not entirely sure whether you're seeing that achievement on the screen. But if you didn't see it, then it's a Steam achievement that just basically came up saying that I've beaten an AI opponent on moderate difficulty in a one versus one game. So there you go. Pretty fantastic. You can see exactly what happened here. This guy, his main issue was that he was just running his units into my castle and he wasn't really having any way to counter that. He did collect more food than me though. He did collect more food, which is pretty insane. And of course, as you, as you saw there, he did advance to every single age a little bit quicker than I did. And there you go. Not bad, not bad. We actually did a pretty decent job beating a moderate AI. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.